Hey everyone. I hope you guys are all doing really well. This is my under the sea shirt. I didn't have a shark one. I need to get a shark shirt. And I was even thinking I need to get like one of those fin hats, you know, with like the shark fin on top. I don't have that either, but I would like to. So I like sharks. They're kind of cool. So you guys can use any supplies today. I just came on a little early to you know, gather everyone around, make sure everyone knows where they're supposed to be. Here's my bag of goodies, okay? You can use highlighters, markers, crayons, oil pastels, colored pencils, regular pencils, Sharpies. Use whatever you have. Watercolor paint, acrylic paint. We're going to start in a couple minutes. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Purdy. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. So many different variations on how you can create this artwork. So, and I'll kind of go through that with you in a couple of minutes. Oh, there they are. So, all right, you guys, it is time. I am Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party. I am coming to you live from Cleveland, Ohio. And today we have a very special guest from the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. They are having a very special fin fest. And I want to bring them on the screen with you, with us, with me. Hang on. Hi. Hi, guys. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Awesome. So I'm Laura. I'm an aquarist here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium, and I'm sitting in front of our 230,000-gallon shark exhibit. So we have three species of shark in this exhibit. We have sand tigers, sand bars, and nurse sharks. This is a pretty cool exhibit because if you walk through our 170-foot-long sea tube, you're part of the exhibit, and you can see those sharks swimming overhead. You can see their teeth up close. You can see the little ampullae on their faces that they use to sense food. It's pretty cool. So some of the sharks you'll see back here, those are sand bars. That's our smallest species of shark that we have in here. Um, that's the largest female who just swam by. We'll see if anyone else on the fire, I can tell you a little bit about them. So one of the questions that we hear most here at the aquarium is, why don't the sharks eat the other fish? Um, I will say that sharks in the wild will eat a couple times a month. Our sharks eat three days a week. So they're well fed and they don't have to hunt their food because we pull deliver it right to their mouths. They don't have to think about it. Um, you see a sand tie right behind me here? That's the big guy going the other way. They're pretty big, they're about 375 pounds. They'll be like eight to nine feet long. That's our biggest species that we have here. We also have our nurse sharks. Usually those guys are laying on the bottom. They're the lazy ones. They're a little more active at night, but they just sleep on the bottom all day and they kind of cruise around. Maybe one of them will come up and lay down over here. They're not super active, but they're pretty cool. Um, another question that we get all the time is what do they eat? If they're not eating the other fish in the exhibit, what do we feed them? So they really like squid. They'll eat mackerel and herring, um, skates, which is a, kind of like a type of stingray without the barb. Um, in the wild, they might eat a couple mollusks, but probably not very often because they have to work pretty hard for it. Sharks like to be a little bit lazy. They prefer it when the food comes to them. They don't want to hunt for it. It takes a lot of energy to hunt for that type of thing. Here's a sand tiger coming right behind me right now. Ooh. <laughs> you see all those teeth in their mouth? They'll lose about 100 teeth a year. So our divers who are in the exhibit right now, they find teeth all the time, and we collect them. 
They have lots and lots of very sharp teeth that they use to shred whatever they're going to eat. Uh, last question that we get often is, why aren't you afraid of the sharks? <laughs> Personally, I just dove in this exhibit yesterday. The sharks won't bother you if you don't bother them. So we kind of keep our distance and let them do their own thing. There is a diver in there right now. Uh, she's back there vacuuming the exhibit and kind of cleaning it to make sure it looks nice. Um, they're pretty gentle creatures. They don't really bother you, which is um, a lot of people are really surprised by that. They're not scary. They're pretty gentle usually. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? Anything I can answer? If I threw a pizza in that tank, would they eat it? The fish would get to it first. Okay. The sharks are pretty slow. <laughs> so a shark would really have no interest in a pizza? No. No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> the fish would try it, but they wouldn't. They would be like, what is this? <laughs> and what type of water would we find these sharks in? Um, all sharks live in salt water. So ours is around 73 degrees. So in Florida, you'll find on the East Coast, the kind of cooler waters um, around the coast of Africa. It depends on the species of shark, where you find there are cold water sharks, like the Greenland shark that's up in the north. There's warm water sharks. Um, great white sharks prefer the warmer waters. Kind of depends. They're all over the place. Interesting. And I just remember looking at Lake Erie and thinking that there were sharks in there. Uh, I'm glad there's not. <laughs> I'm glad there's not also. And what else was I going to ask you? I wanted to ask you. Um, so, the you know, why do you think, like, statistically people are so afraid of sharks? And do you know the numbers on really how many people are attacked by sharks in a year or summer? Um, in a year, it's, it's much less than 10. It rarely happens. The problem is, is that when it does happen, it makes big news. Um, there's, you know, movies like Jaws and things, they really make it real violent just to kind of up the hype and up the dramatics. But sharks will only hurt you if you're in their territory and they're hungry. If they mistake you for a seal, maybe, but um, shark attacks really, maybe six to seven a year. And that's, um, I would say that's a high estimate. Wow. And you said that sharks really eat a couple times a month? Yeah, usually. Wow. That's yeah, they're um they're pretty slow actually. So they they have to use a lot of energy to hunt that food. They would much rather just kind of come across it, and it's kind of rare to come across food in the wild like that. So that's why our guys eat three times a week. It's on a pole; they can't miss it. They just swim up and take if they want it. How long do sharks live? Uh, it depends on the species. The big sand tigers will live to be about 15. There are super small sharks that can live to be about 30. I did find a Greenland shark, which is a cold water shark that um, is estimated to be about 400 years old. They wow. found a hook in it that was 400 years old. So that's pretty amazing. It really depends. Wow. I had no idea. Are you going to create um, I'm going to have to do mine at lunch, but I will sit over to you. I'm really excited to paint, though. <laughs> Good. And again, I like to tell the kids they can use any supplies that they uh, want. And currently, is the Greater Cleveland Aquarium open to the public? We are open to the public. We're open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, you can come see our shark exhibit, walk through our 170-foot sea tube, see the sharks above you. Our stingray touch pool is also open where you can come in and touch the stingrays. So, yeah, come visit us. We'd love to see you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we will uh, create and post all the pictures that you know you have inspired us to make today. Absolutely, I'm excited to see your paintings. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. I love having special guests, and especially local people. Uh, I just, I need to go check out those sharks. That was pretty cool. I love seeing that 400 years old. I had no idea. They eat a couple times a month. That's like not enough for me. <laughs> All right. So let's see you guys. How we doing up there? Everybody good? All right. So I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party. Artistatheart.org is the website if you want to check it out. We're going to create our sharks today and you can use any supplies that you have on hand. 
Now I'm going to paint because I love to paint and I have a ton of paint. So I always start with a oops and I'm going to hopefully not knock over my easel. All right. But I always start with a sloppy copy if I'm not knocking everything over, okay? So this is my sloppy copy. I'm going to use computer paper and I'm going to use a Sharpie because you can see it better on the screen. But if you guys have pencils, use pencils. If you have an eraser, cool. Uh, all right, so I am going to get started here with, I'll do, I'm going to do two sharps and I'm going to do one over here. So I'm going to go slow. I'm going to do a line like that and curve around, almost like a sideways U. I'm going to scoot up a little bit. I'm going to make it a little thicker. So just think of it like a sideways U. This is one of my shark's heads. Okay. And it doesn't have to look just like mine. Now, actually, I'm going to just do the entire body, and I'll add the fins later. So I'm going to curve around. I'm going to go up and curve around. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is our sloppy copy. It can be your good copy, but I like to practice. Then I'm going to go out and back. Out and back. Okay, that looks weird, right? It kind of looks like a tadpole. Have you ever seen a tadpole? So we have to add those fins. And the fins are almost like triangle shapes. So I'm going to do a line here and a line here. A line here and a line there. And then I'm gonna put some little fins, like little baby triangles over here. So I'm gonna do one there, and one there, and one there. That looks a little bit better, right? So we can put another one on the other side. So let's start with the head again. So this head's gonna be going this way. So think of it like another U. And then I'm gonna just continue and I'm gonna go down and around. Down and around. And you can add those fins at the end. Here, out and back, out and back. Looks like a little tap bowl again. Add those fins. And a little baby triangle, a little baby triangle, a little baby triangle. Now, if you guys can't do that, one, this is recorded, so you can watch it again. If you're having trouble with this and you want to erase it, don't have a fit, okay? You can always come back to it later. You can go look on Google Images for free silhouette images that you can print out, or you can draw them yourself, but whatever. Again, and you can print them out. You can actually color right on the printed paper. You could cut these out and make them stencils, right? You can cut them out and trace them and reuse them. You can, you know, again, there's a million different things you could do. So go on Google Images, look for free printable images, look for silhouettes if you want to be a silhouette, and then cut it out and trace it or uh, just color right on the computer paper. Now the really cool thing about this is this artwork can be turned in any direction. It can be this way. I can flip it this way, horizontal, right? So my, I know my sharks are swimming around. So again, this is really cool. You can't tell where the top is, the bottom is, or the side is because this artwork goes in any direction. What makes it look like the top and the bottom if you look at my finished one over here so see i added like some seaweed so now we know that's the bottom and the light is coming from the top so those are like the light beams coming from the top so you that's what makes it but again when you draw this out there is really no top no bottom no side it's totally up to you you can make your artwork go in any direction you choose okay you guys i just got these new ear pods and um I don't know how to turn them on, but when she was talking, it was through the computer. You guys got any tricks for me on how to get these ear 
pods to work, let me know. Okay, let me see if I can. Yeah, oh, you got, sorry, I wasn't watching the comments. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too. I love having guests come on and share information with us. So that's awesome. And hey, if you guys in the chat know how to turn my ear pods on, I did it before I came on the screen and it said it was connected. But when she came on the screen, it came from my computer, not. So especially today, you guys, when I let you come on, touch and hold. What do I touch and hold? <laughs> I, if you guys don't know me, I am not really good at technology. Okay, look on the on this little thing. It said touch and hold this button, which I did. Do I keep the lid open? Okay, and I connected it. Said it was connected to my computer, but when she came on the screen, the volume was coming from the computer. Why this is so important, you guys, is when you come on the screen later. Sometimes there's a echoing if the, your volume's up too loud and you're on a delay so you guys even though we're live when you come on the screen we're delayed so i'll still be talking in the background and when i wear these it will help so any tips to get it so that when you guys come on later i can hear you through my ear would be awesome all right so you guys ready now i'm going to work on canvas okay and i am gonna again draw in sharpie so you can see it from far away oops all right, so you guys can use any supplies you have on hand. Let's just do this. So again, I always start with my sloppy copy, then I go to my good one. So let's start with that like letter U, but it's sideways. It could almost be like a weird C too. It kind of looks like a weird C, huh? Like a squish C. Oops, that's backwards. Like a squish C. All right, and then I'm just gonna go all the way around all the way now why i don't care about the lines and the fins is because i'm going to paint it in black so it doesn't really matter you might want to do yours gray totally up to you you do not have to use the same colors i'm gonna go up and back up and back and then i'm gonna go so his fins are almost like triangles so i'm gonna go up and back out and back it's good to know sharks are pretty nice right you know you see those movies you get really scared if they're gonna come eat you so but they're really nice we know they're really nice all right now look if you want to be silly and make your shark have a little mouth you can give them a little mouth. You don't have to make yours like mine. I want you guys to make yours like you. I'm reading the comments. I did connect it in the Bluetooth. I did that before I came on. But anyway, whatever, it said it was connected. We'll check again later. Okay, so let's do the other shark. Thank you for all the tips. I appreciate it. I am, I'm gonna tell you I'm the first one technology challenge. I usually turn to the kids for some assistance in that area. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, so let's try it again. So let's go like this. And let's just go all the way down. Let's do it on this side, all the way down. Could you have more than two sharks? Sure. Let's go out and back with our triangle. Out and back with our triangle. Let's give them little, let's call them feet, but we know they're not feet. And then we have those little baby triangles. Okay, so I'm making him silly, right? I made that one silly, I put a little, sm so he looks like he's going to have his feeding, his monthly feeding. Who eats three times a month? Anyway, let's put a little baby fish in here. Da, 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 da. He's just swimming along. There's my little baby fish just swimming along and he's going, it's lunchtime. Okay, now you guys, again, you can add anything you want to. Do you want to add bubbles? You could do little circles for bubbles. Little bloop, 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 bloop. Little bubbles. I love bubbles. 
Okay, so you get the idea. Now, whatever supplies you're gonna choose to use is great. I like to color from light to dark. So I'm gonna use the black last. People love to do black first, but don't, because it ends up getting in all your pretty colors. So I'm gonna do the background first, okay? If you're coloring, you're gonna color around your sharks, you're gonna color around your bubbles with color pencil, crayon, oil pastel, watercolor paint, okay? But I'm using acrylic paint, so I can paint right through my shark. I could also paint around it, it just takes longer. So I, you know, I could try to paint around it a little bit. I'm gonna use blue and I'm gonna use green, I'm gonna use white for my background. And I like those striped look because I think it looks like the sunbeams coming in from the top. But again, if you want your water, or your design, I wonder if this is gonna stay. If you wanna flip your canvas in a different direction, go ahead. So this is the part where it's gonna show you where the top is and the bottom is. And if you want, you could draw on your seaweed. You don't have to though, we could just add it later. If you want, well, I'll do it for you guys. It's just wiggly vertical lines. So wiggly vertical lines back down to the bottom. Wiggly vertical line back down to the bottom. And you don't have to have seaweed. You could put coral in there and make it all different colors if you have a bunch of colors. You could do pink and orange, all kinds of cool colors. All right, so there is your good artwork. And now I'm gonna do my background. Now, the key here is you don't wanna make your background too dark. Sure, I'll slow down. You don't wanna color your background too dark because you wanna have contrast with your black silhouette. So contrast makes something show up really well. So even when I did this shark, I used blue, black, and white. That's it, blue, black, and white, okay? So those are values of blues. So tint, T-I-N-T, -T, is a value of blue to make the shark. I used blue and a lot of white paint. To do the background, I used blue and black paint. That's called a shade. So think of that like with sunglasses, the shades. So this shark, has contrast because I made the shark himself so light and then I made the background so dark. Well, on this one, I want to do the opposite. I'm going to make the background really light and have the contrast with the dark sharks. So that's what I mean. So if I use really dark blue and then a black shark, I'm not going to have the contrast. If I made my sharks gray with this really light background, I wouldn't have the contrast. Totally up to you. You do what you want. Again, you can do any colors you want to. Oh, this is something else I wanted to show you guys. So you don't have to make your stripey. You can do it like in a circular. You can make waves. So that would be wavy lines. You could do a circular brush stroke. But the key is it's really cool to see the brush strokes or the crayon lines or the colored pencil lines or the marker lines because it makes it more interesting, okay? So this one, I just started with blue and white in the center and I made a circle and I swirled all the way out, okay? And I just had those round brush strokes going all the way off to the edge. So you can also do that and then wait for it to dry. You can draw your uh, sharks on there after it's dry. You could trace them on there. You could cut them out and glue it on there, right? You can make it like a collage. There's so many different ways you could do this. So, or I could have traced it first, which I did not on this one, but you could have traced the shark first and then paint over it and then painted it in black. Again, you have, there's so many ways you could do this. So, I'm gonna use acrylic paint. I love acrylic paint. If you guys check out my website, artistandheart.org, people always ask me about supplies. What supplies should I get? So I put on there just some of my favorite art kits. You don't have to use them, but people are always asking me, what supplies do I use? What should I use? What size brush should I use? And I just say use anything you have. The only thing I say with paint brushes is don't use those cheap plastic ones. They do not absorb paint, okay? Think plastic, plastic, you might as well paint with a straw. So I would say use any hair, paintbrush and those kits that I put on there a lot of them come with uh, 
brushes. They come with a little baby easel. They're really cute. I do a lot of paint parties, like I do virtual parties. And a lot of times they order the kit for the whole party. So again, they're just not necessary, but if you're looking for supplies, check out the shop page and you'll see some of my favorite art supplies. All right, I'm, I'm ready to roll. Okay. So for the, I'm going to do the background first, okay? And here's my plate. So I have blue, I have green, and I have white. So I'm just going to, I did not even wet my brush. And if you're using crayons, go ahead and start coloring. You don't have to use the colors that I'm using. So I just started with some blue and some white because I don't want it to be too dark, right? So I'm just going to do some diagonal lines coming from the center. So find the center. And I'm just going out. And I like it streaky. So again, if you want streakier, just put a little bit more white in there. And then the next section that you do, you can make it lighter. So I could just add a little bit more white to my brush. So if you have a canvas, I like to paint the edge of my canvas. Maybe I'll put a little bit of green on my brush now and see what happens. And again, if you're using a different kind of supply, you know, now I don't care if I um, go right through my shark, but I am going to go around it for you guys. But if, you know, if you already outlined it in Sharpie, you could paint right through it. So I don't want it to be quite so stripey, so I'm just going to kind of go through it, blend it together a little bit. That way it's not quite so stripy. And I can always go back over it again later. Now I'm going to add a little bit more white. So that's called a tint, T-I-N-T. -T. If you've ever gone to the paint store to watch them mix up some colors, they're making tints of a color usually for your wall. Usually your color of the wall is a little bit of color and a lot of white. I love watching them make a bucket of color. And again, if it's too separate and you don't like it, just soften it up, just kind of go back through it a little bit. But I just really want it to look like the sun rays are coming from the center part. Just make, you know, Green, blue. I just don't want to get too dark so my sharks show up really well. And again, if you go inside the lines, it's okay because you can color over it with black. Black covers everything. So that blue is pretty dark, right? So I'm going to soften it up with some white. And do you have to do it like this? No. Could you do it again in a circular motion and a wavy motion? Of course.
we could sing under the sea under the sea darling it's better down where it's wetter take it from me out in the sun they work all day and i can't remember all the words but that's one of my favorite songs so i haven't heard it in a while though i love to listen to music while i paint because i think it's so relaxing and I just, you know, with the copyright laws, I can't play music on here, but you guys can play your own music. Right? Can you think of a good shark song you could be listening to? Now, I'm going to do bubbles later in white. So I also don't want it to get too, too light because if I, I want to have contrast. So if I put white paint on my background, it really won't show up. My bubbles would not show up if it was too, too light. So again, think about the contrast. Think about the colors you're going to use. You could do your bubbles in black if you want to. I just like the white bubbles. Baby shark, yeah, how did I forget that? Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, <laughs> yeah, baby shark. Love that. And again, as you get to the other side, so your sun rays are gonna go in the opposite direction. So they're going diagonal this way, and this one's going diagonal this way, and then when you get to the middle, it would go more towards the bottom. So again, this side is gonna go diagonal this way. Baby shark, do, 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 do. I haven't heard about baby shark in a while. I'm just going to paint right through my bubbles and I'll put them in later. So if you guys are new here and this is your first time creating with me and watching, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. I started doing the art online in the beginning of COVID in March. And I, it was so fun. And every day at noon, Cleveland time, 
Eastern Standard Time. We would just go live and create together. And now I don't do as many free uh, shows because I'm focusing on my subscription site and that's keeping me pretty busy. So if you are unfamiliar with it, it's artistatheart.org. You can check it out. And there are many, many videos on there of all different types, animals, sea creatures, campfires, mermaids. And it also has an app. So all your art videos could be on your app and you can watch them on that. And so we have a subscription. There's a day pass and it's $15. And for that 24 hours, you get unlimited art videos. And then the month pass is $47. And for $47, you get the app, you get printables, you get uh, access to, again, all those videos. Plus we go live once a week, just like today, and it's interactive. So you're gonna see at the end, if you haven't watched this before, at the end, if you wanna come on the screen, you can and share your artwork. And that's why I really want my iPods to work, but I'll figure it out. How's your water coming? And again, you guys can, it doesn't have to be the same lines as mine. I just like to see the lines. I, I think it looks cool. Makes it interesting, right? It doesn't just look like a Xerox copy or a print, you know, it looks like a real artwork. So you guys see that chat on the side? If you're new here, oops, my side's about to fall over. You can uh, say you're new. All right, so let's just say I lost some of those streaky lines. I can go back into it and make it look more streaky, maybe blend it together a little bit more. It doesn't have to be streaky, it could be wavy like water waves. Okay, my techie people. So it says my devices are connected, right? I have my case, do I keep my case open? Or do I close it? Because when she came on the screen, the sound came out of the computer instead of my earbuds. But anyway, we're gonna keep trying. You guys are gonna come up soon. so. That's why I want to get ready. All right, so this is the easy part. The easy part is the black. Before I do black, remember I told you guys I like to paint from light to dark. So now I want to add my bubbles. Now, you can do white or black bubbles with a crayon or a magic marker or a colored pencil, whatever you want. If you're using paint, what you could do is find some caps. Any size caps, good caps for bubbles, okay? And you just take your white paint, even if it's dirty, and you could dip your cap in the paint, okay? And add, I'll do it right here, add some bubbles. So I'm making a print of a circle. See that? Is it perfect? No, but it looks cool. Okay, I meant to do that. No, I didn't, but we don't have to tell anybody. So there's some bubbles. So again, you just take a cap, 
dip it in the white paint and make a print of your bubble. It may all come out different. And I'll hold this up and show you guys. Because again, are they perfect? No. Do they have to be perfect? No. Does anybody know? They'll be like, oh my gosh, how did you do that cool bubble? Oh, it's a secret. I can't tell you. But, look. oops, there goes my sign again. Look. See? But they look cool. Okay. So there's some of those bubbles. Now this bubble is a bigger cap, so it's going to be a bigger bubble. All right? So I'm just dipping around the edge. See that? I'm dipping around the edge. I didn't do the flat side. I just want the outline. So I'll do one here. So here's an outline of the bubble, right? Just the outline. I'll do one over here. Mr. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, circle, circle. If you want it to be a solid circle, use the other side. But I think that's too big. It would be like a giant solid bowl. Now, you could also, this is why I never have erasers, because I always use them for something. So look at this eraser I have here. I love dipping erasers to get a nice white circle. So again, I could take my eraser and dip it in the white paint and make little bubbles, little baby bubble. Dip the eraser and make a print, little baby bubble. Little baby bubble. Little baby bubble. Baby bubble, 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 baby bubble, bubble, bubble. Right? So again, I can do more baby bubbles. Or you can hand paint them, or you can draw them. Whatever, those are just to give you some ideas. Now, when it's time for the black, especially if you're painting, Okay. Yeah. When you're, if you're painting, you guys, when you press with your bristle, this is the bristle, the harder you press, the wider your bristle is going to spread. So I would tell the kids, tickle your canvas. Go as light as you can and go slow. Okay. So. And you, again, if you want to use gray, use gray. If you have silver, use silver. That would be cool too. You know how. Fish have that metallic look. All right, here we go with the black. I didn't wet my brush. I'm just going right into the black paint and I'm just going to fill it in. So this is called a silhouette. No details, no shading. It's just going to be a flat black silhouette. Now, could I leave that mouth white because he's going to go have a snack? Would just be silly? Sure. Or I could paint it in. Do you see his mouth? <laughs> I could even put in an eyeball later if I want to give him a little white eyeball. First, I'm going to paint this black. So that's contrast, you guys. See how the black really shows up with the light background and the bubble show up? So let's just say it's a medium value. So even though the background's light, it's not so light that the bubbles can show up and it's not so dark that the black silhouette shows up. That gives a contrast, okay? Let's put the little baby shark he's going after. 
don't eat me, please don't eat me. I got to swim faster. Now, you want to paint it like Nemo? You want to paint it different colors? Go ahead. There are no rules. This is your artwork. Customize it. It can be orange and yellow and stripes and pink and whatever you want to use. Okay. And now I'm going to do my shark here. Wow. Again, if you painted your whole thing, background in, that's fine. You could just paint right over it because black covers everything. And you know, I have a YouTube channel too, Artists at Heart Paint Party. So some people like to go to the YouTube channel and watch. I have a few videos. So I have a few free videos, you guys, that are on YouTube and Facebook. If you like this and you want to do more, go check it out. Kind of looks like a whale because of the black and white, like Shamu. Oh, I don't know if you guys know Shamu. I don't think Shamu's alive anymore. We used to have a Sea World in Cleveland and we had Shamu the whale. That was when I was a kid growing up. Now I'm just a big kid, still trying to grow up. So last summer I took a class with Miami University of Ohio. Uh, it was amazing. I, they're called Earth Expeditions classes. You can check them out. They're amazing. And I went to Australia and studied at the Great Barrier Reef about sustainability and saving the coral reef. And I actually, I went with the aquarium in Australia and, and the Miami University professors and students and we all snorkeled together in the Great Barrier Reef, miles and miles out. And I actually did have reef sharks below me and it was spectacular. And was I a little nervous? Yes, okay, my heart was racing, but it was amazing. So tick that off the bucket list, it was spectacular. And I'm glad I did last summer because this summer no one's going anywhere, right? So at least not here. Oh, let's do one. So again, you can make, just leave it like that. You don't have to add seaweed, but if you guys want to add tall grass or seaweed or coral at the bottom, again, I guess it just depends on the colors that you have, but like pink coral, orange coral, and I'm just doing some wavy lines from the bottom. You can add starfish. Oh my gosh, you can put a little mermaid swimming around in the back. You can put colored fish. Do you guys know that coral is a living thing? It's a living organism. It's amazing. Oh, I forgot my little fishy bubbles. My little baby fish bu bubbles. So I could just use the hand, I could also use the handle on my paintbrush instead of an eraser. I could use the handle. That would give me nice little baby bubbles. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a couple little baby bubbles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could I give my shark that's about to eat the fish an eyeball? Sure. I can do that too with the handle of the paintbrush. Give him an eyeball right there. He's like, lunch time. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it a little closer. Oh, they're my sign. Can you guys see that okay? <laughs> yes. Snorkeling in Australia. So I, I have done this program. It's called Earth Expeditions with Miami University. I was an art teacher in Cleveland for 20 years. And every five years, we renew our teaching license. So I would go 
uh, with Miami University. I've been to Thailand where I studied about, you know, sustainability, the environment. I went to the schools in Thailand. And then I went to Costa Rica, again, very, uh, like very into the environment, probably the most in the world. And that was 10 years ago. Uh, And they still are leading the world with recycling and sustainability. And I went to the schools in Costa Rica to see the kids there and how they learn in the classrooms and the way they're set up. And then this path. So every time I do this, I get so many graduate hours, which helps me to renew my teaching license. And then last summer again was uh, Australia. It was amazing. The flight from Cleveland was a little rough. It it took about 20, 22 hours to get there. Well worth it, but it was, you know, it was amazing and a long flight, (laughs) a long couple flights. So, but I was able to swim with the sharks along with a lot of other things and help clean up the reef and, spectacular experience. So I highly recommend it. I'm going to give you guys a link now. Okay. And this, uh, I'm going to post it in the comments. Let's see if my earbuds work. Okay. So this is a stream yard link. Okay. And that's actually what I gave the aquarium. So I gave them that link ahead of time, the StreamYard link, and that allows them to come on the screen. So what happens is you guys click on the link, you come into a waiting room, okay? Like a, it's called the green room. And it's, and then I can bring you up on the screen. But here's the most important part is, you have a volume on your computer, which I want you to leave normal, and you have a volume on Facebook. If you could turn that Facebook volume down, and if you have other gadgets around you, like a phone or an iPad, in addition to whatever you're watching me on, try to move it away because it causes an echoing. And that's why I thought if I had earbuds in, it would help. But again, if my earbuds are not working, it's not going to do anything. So um, if you guys click the StreamYard link, you can come on the camera. Okay, I love when you say where you're at and how old you are. Okay, so I have Kaylee here. Hang on. Hi. <laughs> Can I, I, I don't know if it's my earbuds or do you have your volume on? Oh, I can't hear you. Okay, let's see. Oh, that looks great. You did a great job. How old are you? Wow. Thanks for joining us. You guys, you can send me pictures too. You can check in at Artist of Heart Paint Party. Okay. So if you check in on my Facebook page, Artist of Heart Paint Party, um, it, everyone could see your pictures. And you could also, if you can't find the check in button, you can also message me. Or when this video is over in the comments, a lot of people upload their photos in the comments. That way everyone that sees the video can see all the different paintings. And if you guys go, we did one the other day. We did um, the lighthouse one. You could go look at all the lighthouse pictures again in the comments, or you can go on my Facebook page. And then we also did a campfire the other day. And those are still free. So it's a campfire with roasting marshmallows and some s'mores. And then we did the lighthouse. Uh, And then you can see how everybody did that. Now, you guys got to tell me, were you able to hear her or is it just my earbuds? Could you hear her talking? Because I couldn't hear her. It was silent. All right. All right. Reagan, I know Reagan's going to help me with this. All right, Reagan. Can I? Hi. Hi. All right. So your volume is on the computer. I'm going to give up on these earbuds. That's, That's okay. I just, I can't, I'll figure these out later. How are you? Good. So, um, let's see what you got going on over there. Ah, see, Reagan really always takes her time, right? Mm-hmm. And it always comes out amazing. But Reagan never feels pressure to keep up with me. So, and tell them where you're at. From Florida. And do you see sharks? You saw a baby shark. Yeah. A baby shark at the beach. You saw. You saw it. Did it scare you? A little. A little? Do you think you're going to be more scared of sharks? Did you hear her talk today about the sharks? Yeah. That's interesting, right? Yeah, we've been watching Shark Week. So they're they're not that scary, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> I would be more scared of them. <laughs> if I uh, if I was out swimming, not with like people in the aquarium, but I mean, if I was out swimming alone and I saw a shark, I would get out of the water. <laughs> so, I saw Jaws too many times growing up. <laughs> Thanks. Send me a picture when you're done, okay? Okay. Bye. So Reagan is part, Reagan's been painting with us from the beginning, way back when, and Reagan's in Florida, and she's also part of our subscription group. So we go live, we went live yesterday. Uh, currently we're going live at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna probably add a later time in addition to it, just because I know people are going back to school and not everyone is in the same time zone. We have several kids in Washington and California and Arizona, so they couldn't join us this morning because of, they're probably just rolling out of bed. But I know some schools are going back, and I have actually a lot of homeschool kids also who like to do this with us. But noon obviously cannot accommodate everybody. So I really like to get your input. I like to see what you guys are creating. So keep creating. Do not be self-conscious. If it didn't come out great, do it again and do it again, and do it again. And we have Evelyn and Adeline here. Hi, hi girl. Hi. Let's see what you got going on. Uh, so I made narwhals instead of sharks. What are they? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What are those called? Narwhals. Narwhals, that's so cute. Uh, and where do you guys live? Ohio. Yeah, how do you know about those creatures? Um. I heard about them somewhere. <laughs> Everybody calls them the unicorns of the sea. <laughs> I love it, and I love your colors. Thank you. And I drew a shark in the aquarium, and up here is just a little eel. And um, I put a little painting, and the table down here has shark food. Oh, I love it. No pizza, huh? No. <laughs> Thanks for doing it. Is this the first time you did it with us? Um, actually, second time. We did the campfire picture. Awesome. So if when you guys are done, if you can check in with your photo, or you can also put it in the comments, too, okay? Okay. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye. Hi, Aria. Hi. Um, good. And this is what I've done so far. Oh, I love your background. Thanks. I haven't done the sharks yet. What kind of paint are I, you? I'm from um, Tip City, Ohio. And how old are you? I'm eight. And what kind of paint are you using? I am using acrylics. Acrylics. You're doing a great job. You you should probably put on an apron. <laughs> okay. Thanks. You seem very neat, like a very neat painter. What do your hands look like? <laughs> oh, all right. I can get back. Maybe not. <laughs> Just so you know, you know, acrylic paint, if you get it on your clothes, you got to wash it right away because it will be your new paint shirt, but it comes off of everything else. Just, just your clothes. It will be permanent. So, all right. Thanks for joining me. Welcome. Bye. Bye. All right. So you guys just FYI, this is just a little tip. So your canvas is actually fabric, just like your clothes, okay? If you're using canvas and acrylic paint. So this is gonna be waterproof once I'm done with it, all right? But I don't wanna put it outside because it probably would get moldy on the back. But, so just be real careful with your clothes if you're using acrylic paint, okay? If you're using acrylic paint and you get on your clothes, go wash it that day. Don't hide it under your bed like I used to do. And it just makes it worse. Emma and Bella! Hey, girl! <laughs> girl, tell them where you're from and how old you are. Florida. Um, I am not finished with my painting yet, but this is how it's going so far. Mm, let me just there. Ooh, I like it. That I like it. I like the way you did your green and blue too. And I like your flowered headband. Oh, you guys froze. So just so you guys know, I don't know if they're going to unfreeze, but um, the uh, Emma and Bella have been regulars from the beginning. You'll see many of their pictures. They come on the screen often. Uh, it's They do amazing artwork there in the Florida Keys. Okay. I, I hope they pop back on. Do you want to come back? Oh, you put on an apron. 
<laughs> I love it. Hey, Ariana, is this your first time doing this? Um, yeah, this is my first time. Well, I'm so happy you go for it. I'm glad you put on apron. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let's try Emma and Bella again. They froze. Oh, they popped off. Okay. So, you know, I got, I should have had you guys ask some shark questions, but I'm going to get the aquarium on. That was actually their second time on. If you guys are uh, subscribers, you can see about 100 different videos or more on the website. And again, we have the app, so you can always watch the videos and do the creating on the app. But the aquarium was on months ago, and we did fish. We did really colorful fish. So, again, keep creating. You guys don't need me. I'm just here to inspire you and you guys inspire me again we could do right you could do mean sharks you could do nice sharks you could do silly sharks you don't have to do sharks at all right you could do gray sharks you could do rainbow sharks you could do any kind of sharks you want think outside the box i love that she added the eel i love that there were different colors you know so many variety of things. Oh, the link. Hang on. Sorry. Here comes the link. <laughs> I came into the a closer to, usually I can't read it because I'm so far away I can't see. But sorry about that, honey. I didn't, um, I didn't see your comment until just now about needing the link. So I just reposted the link. Again, if you guys want to come on, let's see if we, my girls got a better. Hey, girls. Hey. Okay. So um, there was just a few more things we wanted to show you and, like, say. So, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the first thing I wanted to show you. I did this, like, a few years ago at my art studio. Um, last year. I love it, and I love that jellyfish. Thank you. Yeah, I really like jellyfish. This is my actual painting because it got cut off. But... Yeah. And you see, you can turn it in any direction, and it works. I love that. Yep. Um, sure. I just wanted to say a few days, weeks, yeah, days. Yeah. last weekend, our dad was going lobstering, and um, he saw a like fat bull shark. And like it was bigger than him, mm -hmm. and he he like he decided not to see if it was friendly or not. So yes, he got out of the water. Have to be pretty aggressive. Yeah, yeah. especially if you're in the territory. Do you guys hear about a lot of shark attacks in Florida? No, no. We haven't heard of anything um this five months. <laughs> I mean, so you. I don't know how long it's, we've it's been in quarantine, but yeah. yeah we're we're right. Did you see the beginning when she was talking and said that there were only five or six attacks a year? Like that surprised me. Yeah. So I'm glad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad that bull shark left your dad alone. So hold yeah. on. what's lobstering anyways? You go hunting lobster. Yeah. yeah. And then you eat them. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, I think I like that. I don't want to hunt him, but I like to eat him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, girls. I miss you guys. Hard. Thank you. Hard. Good luck in school. You're back in school, right? Yeah. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, Amelia. Hi. Ooh, I like it. I like your bubbles. And I, you know what? I like that you, wait, you didn't turn it in all the different directions because you put your sea weight all the way around. So that makes a really cool border. It's almost like you created a seaweed frame. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and it goes in any direction that you wanted to. So that's thinking outside the box. You came up with it all on your own. I love it. Thanks for joining us. And look at how neat you are. You don't even have paint on your hand. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, Kathy, oh, Kathy, Kathy, you can mute yourself and just come on the screen. If you want to give it a try, forget about it. Who cares? I can, you know, I say try it. Actually, everyone today was perfect. So there was no echoing. 
I couldn't get my earbuds to work. And if you guys have been watching for since March, okay, you will know all of my technology challenges. Many, many, many. And we we learn and we keep going and we learn and we keep going. And we learn. you know how many times I've knocked over an easel and my stuff goes flying? Many times, okay? So don't let this intimidate you. If you come on the screen and it echoes, who cares? Don't worry about it. I'd rather have, Kathy, your artwork, the sunset was so amazing the other day and you came on. So I wouldn't fear it. Uh, I just love to see what you guys are doing. And here, hold on. We'll put the link up one more time. Let's see. All right, here's the link. And don't worry about it. If it echoes, it echoes. Who cares? Give it a try and see. Actually, it took me a while. And do you want, I have to tell you, you know who t told me about the Facebook volume was one of the parents, one of the mothers, because every day I was like, I don't know what's causing this. I don't know why it's echoing. And one of the parents said, turn your Facebook volume down. And it worked, okay? I need to contact that mother and have her show me how to get my AirPods to work. But I'm going to, that's my next on my list. So this whole time has been, you know, learn as you go, learn as you go. And we're still there. We're learning as we go. Okay. I never thought, I love my old earplug uh, headphones. I love the ones that plug in, but I can't be far away from my computer. And, um, you know, these are like, they're called AirPod Pros. So they're really supposed to help with stuff like this. So, all right, Kathy, I'm going to give you another minute. If you want to come on, click that StreamYard link. And you guys, so again, Artist at Heart Paint Party on YouTube. Artist at Heart Paint Party on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. I love to see what you create. You do not have to be done when I'm done. Okay, I, again, you could have you could have been done a half hour ago. You could be done tomorrow. Just post the pictures. Check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party. Post your pictures here when we're done. Okay, check out the website. And you know what? Just have fun. Oh my gosh. My whole family came over yesterday and created with me. We made those silly bears. We did it at colorful bears, but we had so much fun. Okay. My mom. Oh, Kathy's here. My mom said hers looked like a lion. Hey, Kathy. No, can't hear you at all. So maybe you turn your volume up a little. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. This is mine. No bubbles yet. No seaweed. So That's we're working on it. Yeah. And this is my son, Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. And here's that one. Shirt. I like Benjamin's tie-dye. That is beautiful. He did a good job. Very nice. A great job. Yes. You guys both did. You're very neat painters. Oh, sorry. And you know what? Your, your volume is actually perfect. Oh, okay. So uh, you, get, you did an amazing job. And I love your artwork. Thank you. Oh, thanks Thank for you. joining us. Send me pictures. Thanks, you guys. That was awesome. See, all right, you got to overcome. Like, so Kathy was a little nervous about the whole <clears throat> volume and echoing thing, but how are we going to know until we try? Tried with my earpods today. Not successful. Does that mean I'm going to not try again? No, it means I'm going to try until I figure it out, even if I have to call 10 people, even if I have to call my niece and nephews. So I don't know. Anyways, you guys. Thank you, the Greater Cleveland Aquarium, for joining us today. Thank you, guys, uh, for checking in. Thanks for the photos. I love you. I miss you guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.